But anyway, we, we, we're going to talk next about The Green Man, because next week there's a special on Phonic, uh, expecting that The Green Man may arrive in Exeter sometime soon, and possibly next Thursday. So we're not quite sure what we're, we're going to do with The Wild Show, but we'll talk about that after uh, this next track, which is a sort of spring track, or at least it, it's, it's made sense to me during the winter, um, it's a track by Martha Reeves and the Vandellas called I Can't Wait Until the Summer Comes. <laughs> That's uh, Martha Rees and the Vandellas, and um, I'm not sure what time of year that should be released. Maybe in the depth of winter, maybe in spring, but uh, I think we should try and do some video on a beach somewhere and see if we can get a promotional video. It may be too late for this year, but maybe maybe next year. Uh, she's back in the UK in April, and I, I think she's in Barnstable, but I'm not, not sure of the dates on that one. JD, next, next week I think we're going to go mobile. Mobile. Do you think that's a good idea? Because uh, I think there's the the so green. You've got the big truck outside, have you? Um, the studio <laughs> in the back, and what we're going to do, like uh, the early days of certain radio stations, and we're going to go around the globe, are we? No, oh. not exactly. Oh right. I don't think there's a big truck, <laughs> isn't it? I think we've shown that various phones and devices, yes, can either phone the studio live or else upload to YouTube sometime a bit earlier. Mm-hmm. And um, assuming there's somebody in the studio for the Green Man special, I think Stuart Cruz is, is very likely to be here, and he's trying to get some guests. Uh, Volkart Muller is, is probably going to be in the studio some of the time. Um, I think between them, they'll probably keep the studio under control, and we could go out and um, see if we can find some cafes. I don't know what the weather's going to be like, but maybe we'd be in the, in the open air somewhere. And um, you're asking a bit much there. Well, I don't know. We may <laughs> we may have to be inside for a, a cafe. Okay. But if we head towards the cathedral, in previous years the Green Man seems to like the cathedral area round about noon. So uh, he may turn up. We don't know. I mean, we can always phone the studio every so often and say what's happening or not happening. And um, I think I think that would work. You, you, you said, JD, you'd, you'd managed to find some Green Man yes. items on, on online. Online, yes. Would, would you explain a bit how you, how you found them? Uh, yes, I dug them up. <laughs> and I, <laughs> now, I found them on YouTube, because uh, your good self put them on there many years ago. Well, Two, yeah, this, that's from sort of a couple of years back. Yes, 2011. But it gives you an outline of what, what's happening for those people who don't live in Exeter. Right. Like myself. So, the, 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 but there's there's more as well. I think if you put um, the hashtag hash Green Man Exeter into into Twitter, oh, right. there'll be more that, more that more that turns up through that. I'm not I'm not I'm not a Twitter. Well, no, I think <laughs> it works on Facebook as well. Does it? All right. I think Facebook's decided that this yeah. hashtag thing uh. is working well enough that they they recognise it as well. Oh, oh dear, I oh dear. He just Chris has dropped his iPhone again. That's, it. That's the end of the show. We're going to go home now. <laughs> no, I've got a spare one. <laughs> he's got he's got one for every day of the week. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at at the moment. Is um, it's quite good that you've made a film of it because uh, you, know, you talk about the Green Man. I've never seen it before. So, right. Well, it, people can people have, a lot of people have seen the Green Man over the last two three years. Right. And um, yes, it is also on YouTube. Mm-hmm.